the healthcare business is growing nicely. So I think you've got to find health care where there is that growth. Right now, costs are running away. You have had some nice hits, like in the hospitals, for example, HCA. So you got to be very, very selective. As you know, I got rid of my UNH and mm -hmm. I got rid of my Humana. UNH might be a mistake in the long term, but health care can't continue to underperform as it has. It's just too big a part of the GDP. Kara, you're betting that his UNH sales a, a mistake, right? Because yeah. you, you own that stock. Yeah, uh, I think that it's traded around uh, news, and some of the hospital companies have had trouble. Humana, you know, we, we've heard bad news. This is a great company that has a lot of, uh, I think, momentum. Talking about in its whole uh, HMO side of the business, Optum, uh, we think it still has big cash flow. It's a dividend payer. It's a leader in its field, and we think that it will continue to show better numbers than. The street is now thinking about, and it, it's uh, it's healthcare, and healthcare should outperform this year. Joe T. Healthcare benefits from working off the COVID comps, and that's exactly what's now yeah. going to unfold over the coming quarters. It's a place of opportunity for sure. In the in the instance of Eli Lilly, there's more to go in this stock. The analyst community, while they are upgrading it recently, 24 buys, six holds, two sells. Mm -hmm. The stock price today, 724. The 12 month price target of all the analysts, 723. They think mm. it goes nowhere. It's going up. Okay.